Michael Sanchez. In honor, if you came in here uh, next Monday, you would come in to hear some World War II veterans. So in honor of these World War II veterans that have, uh, in my opinion, uh, given us this freedom to have this discussion, would you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And so the battle lines are drawn. Thank you. My name is Michael Sanchez. I'm an American, a proud American of uh, proud American and Mexican. Second generation. I am that son of an immigrant who became a citizen. We, the Utah United Groups and Utah Minuteman Project, are concerned with people entering into our country, our state. We want them to do so with dignity and respect and safety. The illegal alien issue is connected to migrant smuggling, human trafficking, and slavery. It is connected to organized crime. These crimes strip people of their rights, ruin their dreams, rob them of dignity. These crimes shame us all. Virtually every country in the world is affected by these crimes. Human trafficking is a global problem, and no country is immune. Millions of victims are entrapped and exploited every year in this modern form of slavery. Slavery, forced slavery has returned to our nation, our world, with a demonic vengeance. With a demand for cheap labor, the age-old mantra, without it, our economy will fail, our plantations will fail, our nation will fall. Smuggled migrants are vulnerable to life-threatening risk, exploitation. Thousands of people have suffocated in containers, perished in deserts, or dehydrated at sea, drowned. Generating huge profits for the criminals involved, migrant smuggling fuels corruption and powers organized crime. Transnational organized crime is considered one of the major threats to human security, impeding the social, economic, political, and cultural development of societies worldwide. It is a multifaceted phenomenon and has manifested itself in different activities, among others, drug trafficking, trafficking in human beings, trafficking in firearms, smuggling of migrants, money laundering. These crimes against humanity contribute billions of dollars to organized crime cartels. These cartels are engaged in the destruction of countries. Mexico is a crime hole. Mexico, a country of hopes and dreams. They do this by executing their people and corrupting their government. The true villains in the illegal alien issue are the criminals and businesses who exploit desperate people. These villains seek to undermine the jobs of American workers and destroy ethical businesses. It's not the illegal alien, so to speak, that is the main focal or being villainized. It is the people that bring them here. The illegal alien is basically the product of these people. This is why legislation is written addressing the illegal alien issue. This is why legal immigration is encouraged to come to a nation with dignity, respect, and safety. Today's immigrants are walking in the steps of most other American ancestors, seeking the American dream, and contributing culturally and economically to our nation. We celebrate their industry and love of liberty of these fellow Americans. Both government and private sector must do more to foster legally present immigrants. The integration into American life to advance respect for the rule of law and common American identity. It is a national disgrace that the first experience most new Americans have is with a dysfunctional immigration bureaucracy defined by the delay and confusion and we will no longer tolerate these failures. The rule of law means guaranteeing law enforcement and tools and coordination to deport criminal 
aliens without delay. It means enforcing the law against those who overstay their visas, rather than letting millions flout the generosity that gave them temporary entry. It means imposing maximum penalties on those who smuggle illegal aliens into the U.S. and for their law-breaking and for their cruel exploitation. Border security is essential to national security. In an age of terrorism, drug cartels and criminal gangs allowing millions of unidentified persons to enter and remain in this country pose grave risk to the sovereignty of the United States and the security of its people. Effective enforcement, giving our agents tools and resources they need to protect our sovereignty. Experience shows that enforcement of existing laws is effective in reducing and reversing illegal immigration. Our commitment to the rule of law means smarter enforcement of the workplace against illegal workers and law-breaking employers alike, along with those who practice identity theft and traffic in fraudulent documents. The document I'm reading from, by the way, is from the uh, 2008 Republican platform. And with that, I thank you so much. <laughs>